Have you ever tried using remote play to stream games to your Steam Deck, thinking it would be good, just to realize the stock experience sucks? My name is Jacques of All Trades, and today I will teach you the best settings for remote play to stream games to your Steam Deck so you can play your favorite games. Let's get to it. Let's start with your host PC. Start it up and enter Steam. On Steam, go to Steam, Settings, and then go to Remote Play. Make sure Remote Play is enabled and then hit Advanced Host Options. Now once there, disable Play Audio on Host unless you want the audio to come from your actual computer. Next, enable Change Desktop Resolution to Match Streaming Client. What this is going to do is going to match the resolution of your Steam Deck, giving you a way smoother experience. Next setting, dynamically adjust capture resolution to improve performance. Make sure you turn this one off. This is on by default. This is the setting that makes things in the distance look a little bit blurry. Now when it comes to NVFBC, make sure to turn that one off. It's known to cause a lot of problems and crash your game. Turn hardware encoding on and make sure to choose the correct GPU your PC has. Leave the threads at automatic. If you have a good router, something high-end, make sure to enable prioritize network traffic. And that's all for the host client. Now let's move to the Steam Deck settings. On the Steam Deck, open the quick settings menu and make sure you have disabled any frame rate limits for the global settings. Instead, use the per game profiles to cap the FPS as needed. Now exit this menu, hit the Steam button to enter options. From there, go to settings, scroll all the way down to reach remote play. Make sure remote play is enabled. Then scroll down to advanced streaming options. Your video is set to balance, your audio is stereo. Your bandwidth limit should be 40 kilobytes per second. Everything above that has diminished returns. Set the frame rate limit to 60 FPS. Set your resolution limit to display resolution. This will match the resolution of the game with your Steam Deck display, making the game run more smoothly. Now when it comes to hardware decoding, I recommend turning this one off. But if you must turn it on or if it works well for you, stick around till the end of the video. I will show you how to fix most of the problems that hardware decoding can cause. Let's see how that looks in game. As you can see, while moving, there's almost no delay, almost no latency, and the graphics are very smooth. Frame rates are also consistent, but that depends on your PC. If you have an older computer and the game is heavy, make sure to lower the in-game settings for your current game. If you have to, you can cap the FPS to 30 or 40 on both Steam Deck and in-game. Just make sure to use per game profiles on the Steam Deck. Now, because you stuck till the end of this video, let me teach you how to fix most of the problems hardware encoding can cause. As you can see in this clip, there's quite a lot of stuttering, quite a lot of FPS drops, a lot of frame rates drop, and latency issues. So, how do you fix those? Hit the Steam button to open the settings menu. Now go to settings again, go to remote play, and go down to hardware encoding. Now what you must do is disable and enable it again while the game is running. As you can see, this fixes all of the issues. If for any reason your game starts stuttering or having FPS drops, just remember, come back, disable and enable hardware encoding again, and it will work flawlessly. Just don't forget, 
I recommend turning it off. And that's it, guys. Enjoy your smooth gaming experience. Just so you know, I plan to make a series of videos about how to stream games to your Steam Deck, to your mobile devices using Remote Play, using Moonlight, using Sunshine. So stay tuned for that. See ya.